In this video we're going to convert fractions to decimals. <coughs> we'll have four pages. So here's page one. Uh, quarters, page two, we'll look at sixteenths. Uh, page three, we'll look at thirds and, and sixths. And uh, these will have repeating decimals. Okay. And on page four we'll um, look at uh, sevenths and, and, and thirteenths fraction. And uh, these will have kind of uh, never ending uh, decimals that we'll have to round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so let's begin with page one, and um, hopefully this will be a little bit of a review for you, so which is nice. But uh, no harm going over it again. So, if what I'd like you to do is is basically just you know ignore these. Just start with this example. Draw a circle. Put a dot in the middle. Okay, split it into quarters. I want you to shade one of those quarters. So shade what shade what a quarter looks like. Okay. So how about that? Is that one quarter? Okay. So the the point is the circle is a whole, it's one. And the quarter is um this amount of it. So just to give us a you know, really give us a think about it. Now one quarter I hope we know is one divided by four. Okay? And if I want to convert that to a decimal, <coughs> I've got to go four into one, which is kind of weird. Four into one, right? So this is what I do, four into one. Okay? And um from previous lesson you might know that one can be written one point zero 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 right and as put add on as many zeros as you like okay one can be written one or one point zero one point zero zero one point zero 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 whichever right and then we do long division okay and we can start with um four goes into well we can't do four into ten but four four, four into one but four into ten goes how many times Well, it's twice, isn't it? Right? Oh, one sec. Okay. And then, um, I guess, I don't know how you guys like to do it, but, I mean... Okay, 2 times 4 is 8. Subtract, and we get remainder. Uh, 10 minus 8 is going to be 2, right? And then you've got to go four, and bring the zero down, then four into twenty. I guess I usually like to put in in these small ones. I kind of like to put the remainder up here, and then I just go four into twenty goes five times. Okay, but do you remember how to deal with the decimal point in the answer here? Because the answer isn't four, isn't twenty-five. I mean, one quarter is not the same thing as twenty-five. But do you remember where what to do? You you put the decimal point in the answer up here, don't you? And 0.25, uh, we should always try to write that 0 0.25. Okay, it's 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 very useful in math to make sure you put the zero in front of the, of the uh, decimal point. So one quarter equals 0 0.25, right? So um, what about two quarters, right? That of course is um, two divided by four, isn't it? Or four into two, right? And you can write two, how can you write two? Two point zero 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 and so on, right? And um and of course you can go four into two doesn't go, but far about four into twenty. Five times, right? <coughs> and it goes in evenly. I mean, if you want, you can go, okay, 5 times 4 is 20, subtract, and I get the remainder 0, you know? But if it goes unevenly, that means you're done. You just, you just forget about it. You don't need any more of those. Same up here. We could, we're could we done at a, at this point. Um, we got to put the decimal point up here and make sure you put a 0 here. So we find that um, 2 quarters is equal to um, zero, or 0 0.5, um, isn't it? Now we found that one quarter equals zero point two five, right? And um, I just wanted to show you um, if you put this in lowest terms, what do you get? What's two quarters in lowest terms? Two into two goes once. Two into four goes twice. So it's one half. 
And so once again on half is 0 0.5. I hope we're starting to get familiar with that, right? <coughs> okay, so please press pause. Do this, oh, I, uh, one thing I want you to do, sorry, I forgot to ask you to shade that this, we started with two quarters, okay, so please shade that. So draw the circle, put a dot, and, and split it into quarters, and I want you to shade two quarters of the circle. Okay, so here's one quarter, here's another quarter. Now, two quarters, that is definitely one half of the circle shaded, isn't it? Definitely one half of the circle there, right? Yep. So, um, so again, yeah, two quarters, of course, equals one half, which of course is zero point five. And remember, you know, if if you shaded the whole circle, that would be one, you know, or one point zero or whatever. So um, anyway, so point five is, you know, it's half. Anyway, oh, oh, hopefully we start getting familiar with with what decimals really mean. Okay, so um, three quarters. I want you to press pause and do this by yourself. I want you to start by shading three quarters. Can you do that? Shade three quarters of the circle. Okay, here's one quarter. Here's another quarter. Here's another quarter, right? Okay, three quarters, right? So you would imagine your answers, I mean, going to be, well, one quarter was 0.25, one half was, uh, or two quarters was 0.5. You would imagine it's going to be more than 0.5, right? But less than one, at least, right? So um, go ahead and press pause and do this, see what you get. Now I'm going to do it in a couple of seconds, so I hope you press pause and tried it. Okay, this is your chance to kind of uh, try it yourself and, and make those mistakes right now. This is a good time to make mistakes, so we can kind of catch them during the video, right? So four, we've got to go four into three. We've got to write three as 3.000. You can put on as many zeros as you like, but you just keep going until it divides in evenly. We start with 4 into 3 won't go, 4 into 30, 4 into 30 goes 7 times, remainder 2, um, and I can just put the 2 up there, and then 4 into 20 goes 5 times, okay, and that goes evenly, so we don't need the rest of this, and the decimal point must go up here, and the answer is 0 0.75, so 3 quarters is 0 0.75. Now, another thing to think about quarters is money, okay? How much is a quarter worth? 25 cents. What's two quarters worth? 50 cents, 0 0.5. Or this could also be written 0 0.50. Same thing, isn't it? 0 0.5, 0 0.50, right? Three quarters is worth 75 cents. What's four quarters? Four quarters equals, write down the answer. Four quarters equals one. Or you could write that 1.00, 100 cents, right? Or one dollar and, you know, no cents, right? Give that. So anyway, just remember that, please. Okay, we'll go on to page two. We'll look at sixteenths. So we're just going to, just forget about these guys for now. I just want you to start with one sixteenth. I'd like you to draw this box. It is four, uh, it, it's four by four. It's a distance of four this way and four this way, okay? So we've got 16 little squares inside here, right? So draw this square and 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 split it into four by four, okay? And then I'd like you to shade one sixteenth of the uh, square. Okay, now I'll do it. So so one sixteenth is there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen squares the same size. So one sixteenth of this is gonna look like that. Okay, it's a small amount, right? So when we turn this into a decimal, we should suspect that, you know, we're not gonna get something like, you know, zero point five. You know, it's gonna be a small decimal because it's just a small part of this, and this whole thing represents the number one. So the decimal of one sixteenth is just going to be a small thing, isn't it? Okay. So to calculate uh, one over sixteen, we've got to, that is one divided by sixteen, isn't it? So we've got to go sixteen into one, which is quite weird, isn't it? Until you turn that one into a big long decimal, how can I turn the number one into a big long decimal? How about one? point zero 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 right now well let's go for it then 
16 into 10 won't go. How about 16 into 100? Take a guess of what it is. If you're off a little bit, you can always try again. Just rub out your guess and try again. 7 springs to mind. 7 6 is 42. Oh, that might be a little bit much. Am I going to guess 6? I think 6 might work. 6 6 is 36. And carry the 3. Right, six one six ones is six and three is nine, and then subtract. So this is a hundred minus ninety six, which gives me four. And then I uh, cross off one of these guys and bring it down. Okay, and then they go sixteen into forty. Right, Sixteen into forty goes I think two times let's try that. Two times six is two times six is twelve, carry the one, two times one is two and one is three, and then subtract and I get eight. Cross off another zero, bring that down. Sixteen into eighty. <coughs> ah, five times, right? 5 times 6 is 30, carry the 3. 5 times 1 is 5 and 3. 5 times 1 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8. Subtract, remainder 0. When I get to remainder 0, I'm done, haven't I? Because look, there's nothing to... 16 into 0 goes 0 times. You can keep adding zeros onto this if you want. It won't make any difference. Now, wh what do I do the answer? The answer isn't 625, surely. Where, what do I do the decimal point in the answer? I've got to put it directly above up here, don't I? And look, there's a space. There's a space here. You've got to go, you've got to put a zero here, right? And because it's 0 0.0625, you've got to put a zero here as well. So, so it's 0 0.0625. So you've got to be careful with where you're putting your numbers up here. When we, and the trick is, when we went 16 into 100 and we got 6, that 6 had to be above that digit there, right? Okay, and we had to get, if we did, if we if we put the 6, you know, helter-skelter, it would mess up. We, we have to put the 6 right above that digit. That has to happen. So we went 6 into 100, the 6 had to go up, 16 into 100, the 6 had to go up here, right? Okay, so in any case, we find 1 16th is equal to 0 0.0625. So let's try 11 sixteenths, right? 11 sixteenths is 11 divided by 16, or 16 into 11, which is weird, of course. Um, can we um, turn that into a big long decimal and do this long division? Yeah, let's try it. Um, point zero 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 zero. So um, let's start. What's eleven into or sixteen into eleven won't go, but how about sixteen into one hundred and ten? Uh, I'm gonna guess six times again. 6, 6 is 36, carry to 3, 6 ones is 6, and 3 is 9. 110 minus 96 is 14. And cross off a 0 and bring that down. 16 into 140. Um, I'm going to just guess 8 on that, see what happens. If it, if it doesn't work out, I can always try again. 8 times 6 is 48, carry the 4. 8 times 1 is 8, and 4 is 12. Subtract. 140, subtract 128. Um, 12. Okay, so are you okay to there? Remember that this first 6 has to go right above this 0 here. Okay, that has to happen. Okay, and then where's your decimal point in the answer going to be? It's going to be right here. So it's actually not, in the last time was 0 0.06 something. This is 0 0.6 something, right? And of course, you're going to have a zero here, right? And you can think of it this way. 
16 into 11 goes 0 times. 16 into 110 went 6 times and so on, right? Anyway, <coughs> okay, so we'll take another 0 and bring that down and go 16 into 120. Okay, let's see. Um, I'm going to guess 7. 7 times 6 is 42 and carry the 4. 7 times 1 is 7 and add 4. 7 plus 4 is 11 and then subtract. 120, subtract 112. We get 8. Yep. And now cross off this zero and bring that guy down. And now 16 into 80 goes. Five times, right? Five times 16 is 80. Subtract. 80 minus 80. Remainder is zero, right? When we get to remainder zero, we're done. So the answer is definitely 0 0.6. 875, which is a little bit more than 0 0.5, which is a half, so it's a little more than a half, right? And if you could please draw this box with the 16 squares, so just draw the box and it's, you know, split to, f split to 4 um, down and split into 4 across, so you got 16 little boxes, and shade 11 16 and see what you get. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight of them. Now, when I get to eight, eight sixteenths, right? That's a half, isn't it? Eight sixteenths is a half of this thing shaded. And if you put in lowest terms, Eight and eight goes once eight and sixteen goes twice. You get a half, and as we know, that is zero point five. I hope we're familiar with that. That's zero point five. So of course, our eleven sixteenths is more than zero point five. It's zero point six eight seven five, right? So, so we've got eight sixteenths, and here's nine, here's ten, and here's eleven, right? So that kind of. I hope this makes sense. That this this looks right. Does that kind of look right? That this is. It's almost zero point seven, basically. Anyway, okay. So. Um, could you please press pause and figure out 12 sixteenths, okay? Press pause and figure it out and then shade it in, in, in shade in the boxes and, and uh, do this division as well, okay? Okay, so you've pressed pause and you've tried it right. That's where you learn. I'm going to do this really quick as fast as I can, okay? You ready? Hope you've pressed pause and tried it. Okay, so 12 sixteenths. Um, I'll go at 16, 12 divided by 16, so 16 into 12, and I can write the 12 as 12.000 and so on. 16 into 120, I'm going to guess um, 7, and the 7 has to go above this 0 here, because it was 12 into 120 goes 7 times, the 7 goes above there, kind of like above the unit part of the 120, right? 7 times 6 is 42, and 7 times 1 is 7, and, and, and 4. I carry the 4, so that's 11, right? And then subtract. 120 minus 112 should have given you 8. Bring a 0 down, and now 12, 16 into 80 goes 5 times. 5 sixteens is 80, and I subtract, and I get remainder 0. So I'm done. Where do you put the decimal point in the answer? It has to go right above the decimal point in, in the dividend here. Okay. And so and, and of course you can think of it this way, well sixteen into twelve goes zero times. And the decimal point goes up here. So zero point seven five is the answer. Or seventy five cents. And um <coughs> 12 sixteenths, of course, that's 1, 2, 3, 4 of them, 5, 6, 7, 8 of them, 9, 10, 11, 12 of them. There's 12 sixteenths shaded in, right? And, and hold on a second, if we had have just simply uh, put that in lowest terms, what's uh, 4 into 12? 4 into 12 goes 
three times. Four to sixteen goes four times. So this is the same thing as three quarters, right? Now three quarters is how many cents? Three quarters is seventy-five cents, isn't it? And did we shade in three quarters of the uh, of the uh, square here? Yeah, because look, each line represents a quarter. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, and there's one quarter not shaded, right? So it's just a nice thing to see, I hope. I hope it helps you to understand. Okay, so that's page two. Let's go to page three. We're gonna look at repeating decimals. We'll start with one third. I'd just like you to, sh to draw a circle. Just, you know, ignore these examples for now. Just draw a circle, shade in one third of, the, of it. So put a dot in the middle. Split it up into three equal bits. Just do your best, doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to shade a third, right? So that's one third, right? Now we're going to um, turn that into a decimal. Okay? So one over three is um, three into one, isn't it? One divided by three. So I've got to go three into one, right? And I can write one as a big long decimal number. So you can write one as one point zero 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 zero, right? So it can go three into one won't go, but how about three into ten? Three into ten goes how many times? Three times. And the three must go above this zero here. Okay. And if you launch you can go three times three is nine. Uh, subtract, you get 1, bring a 0 down, now 3 into 10 again. What I like to do is, on these little ones, I just like to go, okay, 3 into 10 goes 3 times, remainder 1, stick the 1 there, and now you've got 10 here, and then you go 3 into 10 goes 3 times, remainder 1, see, and 3 into 10 goes 3 times, remainder 1, right, and 3 into 10 goes 3 times, and is this going to go on forever? Let's see. Remainder one, and three into, and then add another zero one there. Three into uh, remainder one. So so you got to put remainder one here. So three into ten goes three times remainder one, and it it will go on forever, won't it? Where does the decimal point go in the answer? Does it go here? Yep. So point three 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 is the same thing as zero point three 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 three. Okay. So, uh, so the answer is 0 0.3333 continuing. That can also be written like this, 0 0.3 with a bar above the, th the 3 to show that the 3 keeps continuing forever, okay? So that's something to learn. So we can say that one third as a decimal, okay, is 0 0.3 with a bar above the 3, okay? Now let's look at one sixth. I'm going to get you to um, just draw a circle, put a dot in the middle, split it into thirds. Now if I then want to split it into sixths, if I want sixths, I just split each third in half, right? Like that. So that is split into six equal parts, and I want you to shade one sixth of this circle. Any six, it doesn't matter. How about that one? One sixth, okay? And we're gonna now try and turn this into a decimal, okay? So, it's one divided by six, is what it is, one divided by six, or six into one, okay? And of course, can't you write one as a never ending, um, never ending, um, decimal, right? 6 into 1. 1.000, 1. 0, 0, 0, right? And see what happens. <coughs> so 6 into 10 goes 1 time and remainder 4, right? 6 into 40 goes how many times?
six times, right? Six sixes is 36. So it goes six times and the remainder is gonna be four again. 40 minus 36 is four, right? Six into 40 goes six times remainder four, right? Six into 40 goes six times remainder four. And is this gonna keep going on forever? Yep, it is, isn't it? Where does your decimal point go in the answer? It goes right here, doesn't it? And so you've got 0 0.16666, okay? So what we get is that, <coughs> so what we get of course is 0 0.16666 six, and this is going to keep continuing lots of sixes, okay? Now this can be written as 0 0.16 with a little bar just above the 6 to show that the 6 continues forever, okay? So not not it's not what it isn't is 0 0.16 with a bar above vote numbers because it, it it's it's not that it's just uh, the 6 is the only part that continues forever. So we can write that 1 6 is 0 0.16 with a little bar above the 6, okay? So please press pause and do this guy two thirds. I'd like you to draw a circle, shade in two thirds, and then figure out two thirds as a decimal, and then write it with the repeating bar. Okay? So I'm just going to let you do the whole thing yourself and then check the video. And I'm going to do the video fast, and you're just going to use it to check your answer. Okay? So I'm not going to walk you through it. I'm just, you're going to do this uh, on your own and press pause in the video and then check to see if you get the same answer as me. Okay? Okay, I'm going to do it now. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 2 divided by 3. That's 2 thirds. Here's 1 third. Here's another third. 2 thirds. I've shaded in the circle. Did you get that? Okay. And um, 2 divided by 3 is 3 into 2. I turn my 2 into a big long decimal number. And I go 3 into 2 won't go. Um, I can actually put a zero up there if I like. The decimal point in the answer will definitely be there. 3 into 20, uh, three, uh, 3 sixes is 18. Three six, so it's going to be 6, right? 3 sixes is 18, so 20 minus 18 is 2, so my remainder is 2. Now 3 into 20 goes 6 times, and 3 sixes is 18, 20 minus 18 is 2, so the remainder again is 2. 3 into 20 goes 6 times, again, remainder. 2. 3 into 20 goes 6 times, again, remainder is 2, and this will continue forever. So we get 0 0.666 continuing forever, which is equal to 0 0.6 with a bar above the 6, okay? Which hopefully it's not surprising since um, 1 third was 0 0.3333. Now if, I, if I've got 2 thirds, I have 0 0.6666, so it's kind of like adding another third on. See, if I add another 0 0.3333 3 continuing, what am I going to get? Am I going to get the 0 0.6666 continuing? 2 thirds, right? So this is basically like saying if you have one third and one third you get two thirds. Anyway. So our last one is uh, page four. We're going to get um, um, kind of never ending uh, decimals without, uh, and we're just going to round them to the nearest hundredth. Okay. So the first thing I'd like you to do is shade in four sevenths of a circle. Okay. So just please start in this example and draw a circle and put a dot in the middle and a line up and down here, okay? Now, if I want to split it into seven parts, here's what you should do. Make a little mark here and here for, for one seventh, okay? And now split, and so here's kind of like one seventh. Now split this into uh, three, so one, two, three, and then split this part into three. One, two, three, one, two, three. See, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, and then you've got this seventh here. So basically I'm saying you make that, and then you split this one into three. See that? Anyway, that's just one way to turn it into seven. But it doesn't matter how you do it, just for fun. Okay, so we're going to shade four sevenths. What does it look like when you shade in four sevenths? Shade in four sevenths. 
Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four. I guess the point I'm trying to make is, is four sevenths more than one half? Or less than one half? More than a half, isn't it? And I hope you remember that um, one half is 0 0.5. So the decimal of this should be a little bit more than 0 0.5, wouldn't you say? Right, okay. So go ahead and do it. Uh, 4 divided by 7 is 7 into 4, okay? 7 into 4. And I've got to write the 4 as a big long decimal number, right? And I can do that by just going point zero 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 zero, right? And then see what I get. <clears throat> so 7 into 4 won't go. I guess for fun you could put 7 into 4 goes 0 times, how about that? And then put the decimal point up here. And now 7 into 40 goes how many times? 7 into 40 goes 5 times. You guys probably like to do it the long way, right? 5 times 7 is 35 and then subtract. And we get 5. Bring this 0 down. 7 into 50 goes 7 times. 7 times 7 is 49. And subtract and we get 1. Bring a 0 down. 7 into 10 goes how many times? Once. 1 times 7 is 7. Subtract and I get 3 and bring the 0 down. 7 into 30. Hold on a second. What were the instructions? Round to the nearest what? Round to the nearest hundredth. So do I have to keep going on forever? I could if I wanted to, but I could actually stop here, couldn't I? Because where's the which digit is the hundredth digit in this answer? You've got ones, tenths, hundredths, thousands, right? So the seven is the hundredth. So I actually do have to go as far as the thousandths so I know whether I need to round up or round down, right? So I got a one in the thousandths, so do I round up or round down? I round down, right? And I get 0 0.57, okay? So four sevenths is approximately 0 0.57. Like I say, you can keep going if you like. 7 into 30 goes 4 times. We get 28. Subtract and you get 2. I don't mind. But the point is, you're only supposed to round to the nearest 100. So it's a waste of time to go much further, isn't it? If you go to the thousands, that's as far enough. So please press pause and do this one yourself. Um, <laughs> here's a cer I'd like you to try and shade in 11 thirteenths. So let me help you with that part at least. Um, here's just kind of do a little slice for the 13th then split uh, this part into two here and here see that and then split this into thirds anyway try and make uh, 13 parts approximately the same so if I shade 11 thirteenths let's see one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hmm. It's definitely more than a half, isn't it? I'm only two. I only have two thirteenths left to go. I've shaded eleven thirteenths, and there's two thir thirteenths left because two thirteenths plus eleven thirteenths would be thirteen thirteenths, wouldn't it? It would be the whole thing just for fun, 2 thirteenths plus 11 thirteenths would be 13 thirteenths, which is 1, the whole thing, right? Anyway, so it's almost 1. It's going to be, the answer should be a little bit less than 1, like 0 0.9 or 0 0.8 or whatever, something like that, right? Okay, so please press pause and do this yourself and then check the answer. I'm going to do it now in about 3 seconds. So please press pause and do this, get, get this as a decimal and round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so you rounded that to the nearest hundredth, and you got zero point what? Okay, so, okay, now I'm going to do it. 13 into 11. I must write the 11 as 11.000, uh, as many as I like. 13 into 11 goes zero times. Put the decimal point up here. 13 into 110. 
Um, let's see. I'm going to try 8, I guess. 8, 24. Yeah, that might work. 8 times 3 is 24. Carry the 2. 8 times 1 is 8, and 2 is 10. Subtract. 110 minus 104 is 6. Bring down a 0 now. 13 into 60. Um, let's see. Um, th th uh, let's see. 5, maybe? 5? No, I'll try 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Carry the 1. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 and 1 is 5. 60 minus 52 is 8. Bring down a 0. 13 into 80 goes um, <coughs> 5. I'm going to guess 6. 6 times 3 is 18. Carry 1. 6 times 1 is 6 and 1 is 7. Subtract that and I get 2. Bring down a 0. And I can keep going if I like. But I could. I only need to stop there because I'm asked to round to the nearest hundredth, and the hundredth, I've got ones, tenths, hundredths, thousandths. The hundredth is here. Okay, four. Now do I round up or round down? The thousandth digit is a six, so I need to round up. Right. So this is approximately zero point eight. 5 to the nearest 100. So 11 thirteenths is approximately 0 0.85. Okay?